in the world of JavaScript and especially the world of React and React Native, there are more than one way of doing the things. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the React Native series. I hope you're enjoying this series. This is one of the most in-depth series on the internet with highest quality and that's all possible because of Hashnode. A big shout out to them. Uh, amazing community of developers that they host with their amazing articles. So go ahead, check them out and a big thanks to them. So as I was saying, that there is always more than one way of doing the things in React and React Native. And this actually confuses a lot of people. This is not a world like Ruby on Rails where there's only one precise way of doing the things and the best thing. Here, all of them are kind of a best thing, <laughs> not so best, but yeah, all of them are pretty acceptable and they can use it. For example, notice here that in the home screen, we actually use this navigation, which was coming in as a props. But this is not the only way. You can actually use hooks to actually grab this navigation directly and you don't have to accept it as a prop. Now you might be asking, hey, uh, should I use this or that? You can use any one of them. And this uh, dual style of writing code is what actually makes navigation difficult to understand for a beginner. So I hope now you get it that there are two ways of handling it. So let's take an approach of the second way in the detail screen. Uh, first, let's bring in uh, the most common thing. So we're going to the uh, this one. Uh, yep, at least let's grab this and copy and paste this in the details. So there we go. And let's grab this one. Okay, so as you can see, this is home props. We don't want to call it as home props. We definitely want to call it as uh, details props. And this one is going to come up from uh, as in the format of details. There we go. Uh, right now, this is yelling uh, because it's declared, never used, will, it, will use it. Surely, surely use it. Now, a couple of things that maybe you want to use uh, use navigation hook. Yes, that's what we call. In case you don't want to take the parameters just like this, I'll show you how to set up that. That's also super easy. The first thing that you have to do is uh, bring this use uh, navigation. So where is it? Yep, here it is, use navigation. Let me just remove it from here. So there we go. First thing is get this use navigation. This is the first thing uh, that we have to get. Uh, but not only this, you have to actually grab a uh, one more thing, so far we have been getting the screen props only, but now we have to actually grab the navigation props as well because there might some data that might be coming up from there. So I'll just say native screen navigation, little difficult. Let me go ahead and do classic import, that's better. And we'll say from, and this one is at the rate. This one actually comes up from the stack. Let's go up here and this time we want to grab native screen and this is navigation props. So native screen, a little bit difficult. Native, and this one is stack navigation props. There we go. Little difficult to find, but there we go. So these are the two things that are important for us to actually use a hook, not just to accept parameters directly here. All right. Let's do it one by one. Uh, we have this, yep, we have this one as well. So let's first make sure that the data that is coming up is of good type. So this time we will be extracting the data, uh, how to extract the data. So data actually comes up in the route. So you have to grab it route. By the way, in case you want to use navigation, you can just pass on here and use uh, navigation here, just like this navigation. Yeah, that's totally okay. Uh, <clears throat> but what we're going to do is we are going to just use route and that route is going to be of type details prop. So this guy actually should be happy now. Uh, can we be used in TypeScript file? Ah, accidentally, I named it as GSX. Should rename this, uh, rename this as TSX. My bad. You might be yelling at me by this time that, hey, we actually want to update this. And let's see here. I didn't brought in the syntax, so that's okay. Okay, so we have the types and everything is all okay. As you can see, there is not too much difference between the JavaScript and TypeScript, except these types. All right, so this part is done. The part one is all done. Notice here, native screen props. And this is screen props are coming up. Also, we did the same in the home as well. Screen props, just like that. No difference at all. The difference will start from here. First is how we can grab the parameters from this. Step is super, super easy. Uh, all you have to do is say route. You have some params. Just give me those. It's object. So obviously, you can extract whatever you like from this big object, just like this. If you wish, in this case, we know that the product ID is coming up, so that's all you take. Now, whatever is the value and wherever you want to display, you can go ahead and display that. 
Now also as I was saying uh, that I don't want to use navigation like this, I want to use the hook of navigation. So how to configure that as well. So that is also super easy. All you have to do is now say this, hey, I want to use this use navigation. This use navigation, uh, although you can go ahead and use it like this as well, that is also totally fine. Uh, but we actually want to use TypeScript features here. So I'll go ahead and use uh, these guys and we'll say, hey, this will accept the data, which is uh, native stack navigation props. Not only that, inside this, we have to pass on this guy as well, which is a root stack param list. Yeah, whatever the parameter you're expecting, this one. Ah, this is a little bit much, but maybe this is the one that you want to use. So make sure you understand this. All right, so that's why we imported use navigation and it is also required to have this native stack navigation props. All right, now we have a detail which is accepting or expecting a parameter product ID to come up. We have extracted that using route params. And this is the navigation because you might want to use navigation. Uh, in this use navigation, we have to bring in this param list because you obviously are taking some parameters and all of that. So that is how. Now, rest of the thing is pretty easy. There is nothing in here. So I'll just show you how this is being done. So this is super easy. All the complex part is all done. So we are going to go ahead and say styles dot container, nothing inside the container. I will say that this is a detail screen. So let's just keep it a text. And now let's grab some buttons and extract some data and uh, probably display some data as well. Probably in the details, we want to ex display the data which we are bringing in. So all we have to do is say product ID and that's it. You display the data. Uh, no fanciness, no magic up here. Let me go ahead and grab some buttons so that I can show you some more stuff. So this is the button. Let's keep it self closing. We'll be providing a title to this button so that it doesn't yell it. Uh, this one is going to say go to home. All right. So this one is going to go to home, but how is it going to go home? That obviously is going to come up with the on press. Now in the on press, again, you have a couple of options. You can use any one of them, whatever you like. We have already discussed some of them. Now that the hook is configured for the navigation and it's not suggesting me this, uh, we actually haven't actually stored that into any variables. So const navigation. That should be equal to this hook. All right. Now the navigation should be available to us navigation. And how do you want to go back? Obviously, you can use the classic method of navigate. And you can use it like this. Where do you want to go? I want to go to home. That's a nice place to be in. All right, let's comment this out and make a copy of this because we don't want to go home like this. We want to go and use something like this. Now I'll not use any of the parameters. I'll just directly say I want to use go back just like this. There is a problem with this go back. It will go just one screen back. So again, as I told you, it's a stack and the stack you can keep on going back. Uh, it's not a guarantee that you will reach to home. Uh, it's a, just a guarantee that you will reach one screen back. In this case, we have just two screen, but there might be a use case scenario where there are a couple of uh, four or five or six or seven or screens like that. Uh, let's comment this out and uh, show you that there is also one more way. Or in fact, we can actually duplicate this button. Uh, totally up to you. How do you want to? And this one will say, uh, go back to uh, first screen. Although in our case, we have just one screen to go back, but still want to show you the importance of the method that we have. We can actually remove this. We don't need it too many times. Uh, all we have to do is we have this pop as well. But remember, in the pop, you have to mention how many screens you are in. Uh, probably one screen in, one, two screen in, three screen in. So up to like that. Uh, this is also a method that you can use. In this case, this method is not going to serve us well because it will just pop us uh, one screen back or maybe two screen back. So there is a number. Just for your understanding purpose, I'll keep a number here. Uh, it will just work like that. But the method that we want to use is uh, pop to top. This will actually pop you to the top. That means all values from the stack will be emptied out. So there we go. Now you understand that how things actually go and work. Uh, probably we can launch this app as well. So we're going to say npx react dash native. There is nothing too much to see that how the screen works and all of that. That is really two basics as this point of time. Android. And there we go. Let me fire up my uh, device as well. So there we go. So this is my device. And uh, this is going to take a couple of minutes probably. Yeah, it's extracting the data and all of that. Uh, let me pause the video till the time it loads all the things. 
I don't know why it took a couple of seconds to actually load it up, but it's okay. Uh, so as we can see, it says home screen and go to details. As we go to details, uh, we are going back. And by the way, this is the details screen that we have. So <laughs> uh, we should actually apply this uh, styling there as well to see the data. We forgot to apply the styling onto this detail. So no worries, minor hiccup, nothing too much. And we can say styles dot small text. All right, so there we go. We can see the detail 86. So the idea was that we know that how now we are passing some data and that data is getting displayed, not only dis uh, being captured, we are displaying that data as well. Uh, we can go back to the first screen, obviously it will pop up everything. And now you can see that we go to detail screen and we have this back button as well. So we can use this back button to go back. But if I go back onto the home and I say that, you know what, how do I want to navigate? is instead of push, I want to use this replace. I'll save this one. Now, if I uh, go to the details, I don't see this back button and that's the implementation of how the replace works. So these are all the same methods. If you understand the basic foundation of what they are doing, you will be absolutely fine there. So I'll just command Z this. Uh, this was all just to show you. And I can go back to home screen. Uh, there we go. Uh, go back was not handled, so obviously it's a push, so I need to restart my app or probably hit a, a hard reload on the app, not like that. And where is my terminal? There we go. Uh, probably let's reload it and there we go. Details, go back. Yeah, that's all okay. Uh, so this is all what we have done. I'll surely push this code to the GitHub uh, so that you can contribute as an open source. If you found anything or maybe you want to contribute as by writing articles on Hashnode, that is also totally fine. I'll just close this one. Yes, terminate this. And yeah, we can close this one as well. All right, it was a pretty fun and very exploratory session with all of you. Hope you have enjoyed this one as well. I'll surely catch you up in the next way, in the next video. <laughs>